Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be hunting moose in Way of the Hunter and in Call of the Wild. We're gonna hunt moose in both of these amazing games and have a look at the differences. I thought that would be a lot of fun. So now we do have a moose coming in here. Moose are one of my very favorite things to hunt in Call of the Wild, and I'm very excited to hunt them here in Way of the Hunter. Now it looks like this is just an adult level one and a female. But one thing I do know from the very few moose that I have shot is that they pay pretty crazy well. Now I have with me the 300 for moose and we're gonna take this guy down. Let me know in the comments guys whether you have purchased Way of the Hunter, how are you liking it? And are you planning to purchase it in the future if you have not purchased it? All right, let's take them. Okay, so we have the 300 here. I'm zeroed to 200. That's a level one, pretty crazy, right? He looks not too bad to me. And we unlocked a perk, Steady Hands. I'm gonna watch him through my scope. Hope he drops for me. Oh, I can't see. But you always wanna mark where your animal is before you take that shot. So now we need to find some blood. Oh, I see blood over here. I don't see any blood, that is not good. Now I never even thought, but how does blood work in the water? And there is our moose right there. I did not find any blood to track him, so that is a good question. I mean, if you shoot something in the water, is there gonna be no blood trail? I didn't see one. I just got lucky enough to find him. That would be realistic. All right, here's his blood here. But in the water, there doesn't seem to be any. Very interesting. I think we may have just learned something. All right, let's see what the payday is on this baby. Look at him, eh? Beauty shot, double lung. 300, just a level one. Look at that, $1,174, that's pretty sweet. And we did not lose a whole lot from that shot, so that was pretty awesome. So we'll sell that, and that is delightful. But yeah, you will definitely make a lot of money hunting moose. So this is where we are, right up here, top right corner, and moose drink at nine. So it's actually 9.48 a.m. right now. Okay, so now we are in Call of the Wild and we are on Rev on Thule Coast and I kind of feel like this map got a little bit gypped. If you think about it guys, this map came out the end of June, but the thing was, especially for me, and I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments what your experience is, but because the Black Bear Great One came out at the same time, and that's not a bad moose, it really isn't. Holy, 251 to 305, hello big boy. He is pretty. That guy's diamond potential. I doubt he's a diamond, but we're gonna find out. But because the Black Bear Great One came out at the same time as Rev on Thule, a lot of people went straight to grind black bears and didn't hunt this map a whole lot. And I know I was one of them. And then Way of the Hunter came out and everybody jumped on that game. And I kind of feel like Rev on Thule got a little bit gypped, but Moose, one big difference between Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild for Moose is that you're gonna find Moose a lot faster when you jump onto Call of the Wild, especially if you know where your hotspots are. Now Rev on Thule is a pretty amazing map for Moose. Oh man, he's pretty. Even this guy, he's max weight. He goes up to 260, but you can tell from his rack, he's not that big, but finding a monster Moose in Way of the Hunter is going to be way more challenging. You're gonna find moose a lot faster in Call of the Wild, but they're two completely different games. You know, the more I look at him, the more I think he actually could be a diamond. He is really beautiful, holy moly. Now this spot right here is amazing for moose. You're gonna find, I believe on the beta, I had eight drink zones for moose. Now I don't have that many quite yet, but one thing that is similar is I am using the 300 in both games, and it is amazing on moose in both games. <laughs> Look at all the huge moose coming out here. What is happening? Holy, we have three max weight moose out here. Now moose are one of my favorite things to hunt in both games, really. Well, I think we're gonna shoot both of them. Now I'm struggling a little bit to go back and forth between games because of the keybinds. They're not the same. Now one very big difference between Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild is the speed at which you can take animals down. It's gonna take you a lot longer in Way of the Hunter, but I think that kill is going to be more satisfying because it does take you longer. It is a slower paced game, but it really is a lot of fun. Whereas Call of the Wild is the kind of game, if you're in the mood to shoot something, this is the game for you. And I often am in the mood to shoot something. All right, this is good. I'm gonna take this pretty boy down and then we're gonna go for the even bigger one. Now in both games, moose go to level five. They can be five star in Way of the Hunter or they can go up to level five and level five is your max level for moose in Call of the Wild. Now, just having a level five does not guarantee you a diamond, 
Whereas in Way of the Hunter, a five star basically is the trophy. There's no way you can get trolled in Way of the Hunter. I don't know, there's good things and bad things about that. The good thing about having trolls in the game, and I know some of you might not agree with me, but let me know how you do feel about it in the comments, is trolls, what they do for the game is they add suspense. When you shoot a max level anything in Call of the Wild, when you're running up to it to pick it up, you're thinking, please make it, please make it, please make it. If you knew that he was gonna make it no matter what, that suspense would be gone. And for that reason, I like having trolls in the game. I think taking them out of the game would be a travesty. Now I know they can be frustrating, but they make diamonds even sweeter. All right, here we go. Let's take this beauty down. So this is my 300. This is my favorite weapon in Call of the Wild. And here we go. All right, you want, you want a heart shot, do you? All right, if you insist. Beautiful, all right. Now my big boy is way down there and he knows nothing is going on here, so that is good. All right, so let's go get him. But definitely Call of the Wild is more of a run and gun type game. Now I am not the most patient person in the world, so it might be better suited for me, but not for everybody. But definitely give me your opinion in the comments. I really would love to know how you guys feel about both of these games. And here's a big question for you. Would you guys prefer that I make more content on Way of the Hunter or Call of the Wild? I'm sure we'll have a split vote on that, but I would love to know. But finding moose in Way of the Hunter takes some serious time, and they spook so much easier. And this guy really is pretty, isn't he? Oh, he is gorgeous. I love hunting moose. I love when animals look like diamonds. Not from the number, but from just looking at them. That's my favorite. So that was a beautiful heart shot. 248 is a pretty nice moose. 274.99 is diamond. So he is beautiful. And uh, that's giving me hope for this guy. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Man, there's a lot of moose here. If I spooked him, I'm gonna cry. No. Okay, here he is. There he is, beautiful. All right, let's mark him. Now there is one very big difference between Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter right now, and that is that there are rare furs in Call of the Wild, and there aren't any in Way of the Hunter, except for in the missions, I understand, but they are supposed to come in a future update. So rare fur types are a lot of fun to hunt for, and they just add that extra mystery into the game. So hopefully we do see that in Way of the Hunter very soon. But for example, if I were to find this guy in an albino, I would probably have a little bit of a heart attack and just be overjoyed. I really would. Definitely has some pretty nice shovels. And splat. Now another reason we do need rares in Way of the Hunter is because once you get every trophy in the game, you might not be so compelled to continue hunting, but when there are rare fur types, it really makes the possibilities endless. Now right now in Way of the Hunter there are only two maps, but there are more coming. Right now in Call of the Wild we have moose on four different maps. We have them in Leighton Lakes, Yukon Valley, Medved, and here in Revontuli Coast. So I personally am still hoping for a great one moose to come along very soon hopefully the next great one i'm hoping and that's another difference between the two games call the wild great one grinding is very popular in call the wild and that's not something you can do in way of the hunter well this is very interesting isn't it it's very hard to see his rock you had to float on me didn't you all right my dude let's see what is he gonna score Ooh, 260 is a big one he is gorgeous i didn't think he would make it but he is absolutely beautiful, man. I've only ever shot one level four diamond moose ever, and that was in Yukon and it was a couple years ago. But I do find diamond moose are a really nice prize. They're not that easy to find, but they are easier now that we do have Rev on Thule Coast. So this spot right here is amazing for moose, top right corner. Okay guys, we spotted a, looks like a pretty big moose, but I'm not the best judge of that, but there is a bull moose, and I think he's pretty far out there. I don't see him now. All right, let's zing over there. I don't know if he's actually 600 meters or not. I tried to spot him. Now, speaking of 600 meters, I would never be able to spot a moose or any animal in Call of the Wild from 600 meters away. The render distance in Way of the Hunter is pretty insane, and that is a huge benefit of Way of the Hunter. I really hope that is something that comes to Call of the Wild in the future. I don't know if it will, but that would be amazing. Okay, that's not him, that is his girlfriend. Oh, here he comes. I think I'm stuck to this tree, come on! If you get stuck to a tree, guys, it's a bug. Just go prone, crawl away, and get back up. You should be okay. Sometimes you can't, but we were able to get away there. Now, what is he? Whatever he is, he gonna die. We're zero to 200, here we go. Looked good, off he goes. 
can't see too well. Let's get our butts over there. Oh, there's all kinds of moose that we may have spooked. All right, I can see the blood. It is right here. Beautiful. Now tracking is way more challenging in Way of the Hunter. It is a lot easier in Call of the Wild and Call of the Wild has bloodhounds to track for you. I'm hoping that's something that comes to Way of the Hunter in the future. He did not go too far. All right, how you doing, my dude? $1,243 is beautiful. So he is a level two, 73.33% on his way up to a level three. We did not have a lot of meat spoilage there. So that is absolutely sweet. But meat spoilage is not something you have to worry about in Call of the Wild. It's actually a pretty cool feature and a realistic feature of Way of the Hunter. I think I'm supposed to press change. So let's change that, activate it. Okay, I love how that tells you to do that. So that completes a mission for us. All right, so now I will sell it. That was pretty sweet. I really liked how it told you how to do that. So let me show you where we are on the map. So we are right up here. So all this area, this is moose territory. All right, well, we didn't go too far and we have more moose out here. Man, it is not easy to find big moose. But that is a comparison of hunting moose in Way of the Hunter versus Call of the Wild. Let me know what your favorite is, guys, and why in the comments below. And I'm thinking about doing a series comparing animals in both of these games. Now, if you are interested in that, definitely leave a like and let me know that you are interested. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. For a full comparison of Way of the Hunter versus Call of the Wild, I'm going to leave you with that video. Click away. Take care, guys.